Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mekah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS Arkansas, GMS Stop and Listen. Uh, just got a little short lesson because we're coming, um, talking about the times we're coming in. We, we are measuring the time diligently within itself. You see things are happening. The Lord is is letting Esau uh, make moves to systematically basically bring himself down. So this is, um, you know, just a video for the brothers. Hey, we just got to keep keep our faith, you know. As the scriptures say right here, Second Corinthians 5 and 7, for we walk by faith, okay, and not by sight. We don't walk after the fashion of this world, okay. We walk by faith, man. You know, our progress uh, our conduct of life is all in faith. The, the substance of things, uh, evidence of things not seen. Uh, let me see, faith, the conviction, and the belief. Okay, this is what we walk in because it says right here in Hebrews eleven and one. It says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." It's that substance of things hoped for, okay, that expect expectation of this kingdom that's coming, that the Lord is going to take care of us, okay? The evidence of things not seen. We haven't seen the kingdom, you know. We haven't we haven't seen uh, uh, the, the, the riches that we're going to get. But through the Lord, we have in our mind, it says the mind and you have the mind and you have a shy. Let me show you. Uh, Colossians. I want to say, is it three and two? Or is it two? The mind, that mind, how it's shy. It might be three. Hold on, let me type it in so I can. Uh, let me see. Mine, I think it's called mine. And I think that's what it's called. Do, 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 do. I think it was, uh, let's see, that she made, it was like, I'm having it in the minds through, in my, well, this is a good one here, uh, Philippians 4 and 7, and the peace of the Most High, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through your how about Shem Yom Shai, so we, 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 that's why we walk in that faith, it's one scripture says that mind of Yahweh, we got to walk in the mind of having that mind of Yahweh Shai. 2 Corinthians 2 and 16, for who have known the mind of the Lord that they may instruct him, but we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. Come. So that's why we, we got to keep walking. We walk in this faith, man. Having that mind of Yahweh Shai, we walk, we walk in faith, okay? substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen so i say that to say this to get into the lesson because you know that's building into what i want to say right here we are going through some we're going to be going through trying times right and you never know where you might be in the situation you might be in you might be in the wilderness you could be in a jailhouse a concentration camp or you could be at the bottom of a dungeon or you could be in some abandoned house in the middle of nowhere Okay, we have to maintain our faith because in that time, because we see it now, Esau is getting ready to shut the, the food source off. When the food source is shut off, that's when you're really going to see people like at, at their at their 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 worst, man. That's when you're going to see really people like being a beast when there ain't no food. 
And then when the situation gets rougher as it goes on, we never know what we might be. We might say, damn, you know, that's why we fast. You might not be there eight in four or five days. And you just have to remain the trust in the Lord, you know. Because he said right here in uh, Isaiah 13, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Because we're going to rejoice at the, at the fall of, of this society, man. And a lot of people are going to be ashamed because you put your trust in this society. The Lord said we're going to eat and we're going to drink. It's service, man. So, Lord willing, man, we, we those servants, man, that we part of that number, you know, because we've, we, you know, done what the Lord has asked us to do, to go out to to, uh, to push this word, and just, you know, and, and, and let the uh, let this knowledge shine on the top of a candle. We, we, we've done it through the best of our ability. So you have to have that faith that the Lord going to take care of you. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy, and ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So these people, spirit going to be tormented out here, man. And soon come, people going to be uh, going crazy around here in these stores and everything. They're going to be fighting. They're going to be shooting each other. They're going to be looting. You know, so the Lord going to take care of you, man. Is, is any ever trusted in the Lord and, and, and we're uh, confounded, you know, because the Lord going to take care of us. And I'm going to show you two scriptures where the Lord took care of his men. This is uh, First Kings 17. And I'll just start at one to read down into it. It says, Elijah the Tishbite, who was an in the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ahab, as the Lord Yahweh Bashem shall Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these days, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself in the brook uh Carith, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. See, the Lord, I commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he's going to be getting fed by a bird, man. That's 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 having faith and trust. He told him, go by the brook. And that's where you're going to drink. Because he said, my servant's going to eat, and they're going to drink. So he had him go by a brook so he could maintain and get water. And he had a, a, a raven right, which is a bird, right, a raven is a bird, okay, to bring him food, it says, so he went and did according unto the word of the Lord Yahweh, for he went and dwelt in the brook of Kareth, that is before Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread, the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook, Okay, so here's an example of the Lord, uh, what he said in Isaiah, right? Isaiah had, had, had said, the Lord, you're going to eat and drink. So, you know, Isaiah probably had knew of this, this uh, account that had happened, okay? That the Lord had took care of uh, Elijah, man, okay? A raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning and in the evening. So we have to keep our faith because we never know how our food is going to come. The Lord can have our food come by a, a, another another brother because certain brothers going to have spiritual power. You might have a, you might be somewhere in a dungeon, locked up in chains, and, and the Lord have a brother out here with spiritual power, and that brother just 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 come through the walls, man, or he just uh do like Star Trek, he just appear, you know, he just appear, man, teleport into that dungeon you in. And it could be, it might not be for him to, to loosen you, to let you go, to make you, break you free. But it could be the, the Lord is testing your faith and then he'll just have that brother feed you. Okay. And I'm going to show you that account that did happen. Uh, let's go into uh, the Apocrypha. 
Let me go into the Apocrypha. It's the book of, uh, it was Baal the Dragon. It's only one chapter. I'm going to start around 30. Because you got in Baal the Dragon, the king was feeding uh, Baal, which was an idol. And Daniel basically knew he had wisdom. So he, what he did, he put powder on the floor and saw the footsteps and showed the king that people were coming from under the floor. And then Daniel actually uh, actually uh, destroyed the idol. And once he destroyed the idol, the people wanted to uh, basically kill Daniel. Okay. And I'm going to start at 28. It says, then when they of Babylon heard that, they took great indignation and conspired against the king. This is after Daniel destroyed the idol. The king is become a Jew and he have destroyed Baal. He have slain the dragon and put the priest to death. So they came to the king and said, deliver us Daniel or else we will destroy thee and thy house. Now, when the king saw that they pressed him sore, being constrained, he delivered Daniel unto them who cast him into the lion's den where he was six days. And in the den, there were seven lions and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep, which they were not given to them to the intent that they might devour Daniel. So they didn't feed the lions for a couple of days. You see, just like the people, when you don't eat for eat for a while, you become you become angry, man. You become like an animal. OK, even in stop talks in Jeremiah, man, back in the siege, man, people were eating their children. And they're going to do it. They're going to do that as the same. OK, verse 33. Now there was a Jew Jew. Uh, there was in Jew, Jew. It says jury, but it means that's Judah. Jury, when you see jury, it's Judah. The, now there was in Judah a prophet called Habakkuk. Who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl. And was going into the field for to bring it to the reapers, okay? The guys who were knocking down the fields. He's going to go feed feed the, uh, the reapers, man, okay? But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, go carry the dinner that thou hast unto Babylon, unto Daniel, who was in the lion's den. So he told Habakkuk, this food you finna carry to them dudes who reap in the field, carry it to Daniel. But guess what Habakkuk said? And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon. I ain't never been to Babylon. Neither do I know where the den is. <laughs> okay. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown, which is his head, and bare him by the hair of his head and through the vermicity of his spirit set him in Babylon over the den. So he teleported. He, he teleported uh, Daniel. I mean, Habakkuk to Daniel from the fields. Put his hand on his head like you see in Star Trek when they say beam me up, Scotty, and their body deteriorate, deteriorate, in from one spot and rematerialize into another spot. So he basically teleported. So we don't know in the days to come, Esau might have us in a dungeon locked up with, with shackles, man, and a brother might just come through the wall, you know, with some bread, okay, with some fruit, you know, with some good substance, man, some water, okay, good alkaline water from the heavens, you know. If you were, you might, it might be your test for the faith to be there locked up, but it might not be for that brother to come free you, okay. It might be for him to come feed you. Just like the raven brought the food twice to, uh, a day to uh, Elijah, and he drank from the brook. So it says, and, and Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, take the dinner which the Lord hath sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seeketh thee and love thee. See, so... The Lord not going, the ones who love him, who cry out to his name, he not going to forsake you, man. So you might be in a spot where you, you don't know, you, you know, you might not be there eight for four or five days. You might not be 
having no food. Don't don't go. Remember, don't go crazy like you've seen people going crazy before over food and doing the goofy, man. Because the Lord, you pray unto the Lord, man. The Lord gonna send you food because He said in Isaiah sixty five, "My servants gonna eat and they gonna drink." So verse back in thirty nine. So Daniel arose and did eat, and the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. So he took he well, after he gave him the food and he ate. The angel teleported. He teleported uh, uh, Habakkuk back to his place, man. Okay? So, back in Isaiah 65, the Lord said, Behold, he said in 13, My servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. And you shall be ashamed. So, hey, we have to trust in the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And with that, I just hope this lesson was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakahakodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS Arkansas, GMS, GMS, stop and listen. Till the next time, say Shalom.